Director of A Hockey. I'm also joined by Ben, Director of C Hockey, Keith Raria. Uh, I am also joined by our ice allocator, Angela Sam, and our dedicated photographer for the evening, Ray Lian. but uh, an amazing season we had this year. The Bulldog C teams won eight banners across seven different teams. The Bulldog A teams won four banners across four teams. And the U15 A1 team made it to the final four for the first time since Joe Sackick was part of Burnaby Minor Hockey Association. <laughs> banners across four teams. All players and teams this season had a lot to celebrate in their own ways and I hope everyone had a great time having a lot of fun and making amazing memories with friendships that will last a lifetime. Tonight we are here to celebrate individuals and teams who made an extra special contribution to their team's experience uh, as well as to Burnaby Minor Hockey Association as a whole. Before I turn things over, there is one person I'd like to recognize uh, before I do this. This individual has been with Burnaby Minor Hockey Association since 1977. This individual, <laughs> this individual has put in countless hours for Burnaby Minor and he has done it all for the love of the game of hockey. In my six years on the board of directors, this individual has been the greatest source of hockey knowledge and the greatest support to myself and to the other uh, members of the board. I'm happy to share with everyone tonight that the President's Award has been renamed to recognize and honor this individual's contribution to Burnaby Minor Hockey Association. We have named the award the Larry Hayes President. <laughs> to Mr. Larry Hayes, our MC. Nineteen seventy-seven means I've got three pair of glasses. <laughs> okay. So uh, welcome everybody. Thank you, Cheryl, very much. It's uh, much appreciated. And uh, nineteen seventy-seven, it just seems like yesterday. Um, so what we're, what we're going to do is, uh, there's a number of, uh, I'm sure as all of you know, a number of categories of awards that we're giving out this evening. And uh, just a few housekeeping items. When your name is called, or your team name is called, please quickly come up to the front to receive your award. And again, for teams, all players and team staff are welcome to come up front as well. The award will be presented by President Cheryl Reeser over by the, uh, the table there with the uh, nice tablecloth. And both, both the award winner and, uh, and Cheryl will stand in front of the BMHA banners and the photographer will take a picture. Others are welcome to move up front and take a picture as well. We just want to keep it moving fairly quickly. At the end of the graduating U18 ring presentations and the female uh, award presentations, we would ask that players stay around and uh, we will uh, have a group picture for, uh, for both of those, those two groups. 
So if you're, uh, if you're able to, please stay for the full ceremony as it won't take too long and it's great to hear about others' accomplishments. So first of all, we're going to start with our Graduating Female Player Awards. This inaugural award recognizes players who have played minor female hockey for eight consecutive years, including their graduating year. This year's graduates are part of a special group that has helped develop the female A hockey program at the BMHA. Some years there were not enough players for BMHA to host a female A team or even a C team in their age group, so these players had to make the very tough decision to move to another association to continue playing hockey. The we're still very proud of the sacrifices that they've made and continue to make in pursuing hockey and the fact that they spent their graduating year with Burnaby Minor Hockey. So I'd now like to introduce those players and if they could come forward when their name is called and President Cheryl will, uh, will present them their award. Firstly, we have Diane Lee. and has played up until graduation for a total of 12 seasons. She played A hockey for other female hockey organizations for three years and returned to the BMHA for her graduating year where she served as alternate captain on the U18A1 Wildcats. Congratulations, Diane. Next up is Lauren Liu. in BMHA's U7 division and has completed 13 years of minor hockey. She played female hockey at both the A and C levels at BMHA, except for three years when she played female hockey for the Vancouver Angels. She was the recipient of the Most Sportsmanlike Female Player Award in 2022. She was captain of the U18A1 Wildcats this season. Congratulations, Laura. Sophia McCabe. Sophia played eight consecutive years of female minor hockey. She played both female A and C hockey with Burnaby and other female hockey organizations. She returned to Burnaby for her graduating year where she played a significant role in the success of the U18 C1 Wildcats. Congratulations, Sophia. Ella Poiser. Ella began playing hockey in the early minors female division in 2012 and played female hockey for 12 consecutive years. She returned back to lead Burnaby's Wildcats inaugural female U18A team and served as an alternate captain. Congratulations, Ella. <laughs> Summer Oi. Summer played eight consecutive seasons of female minor hockey with Burnaby Minor, six seasons with BMHA, and two seasons with the Vancouver Angels. Even while playing in Vancouver, Summer remained an active BMHA referee and advanced to become a referee mentor for the associations. Congratulations, Summer. We will now move on to our graduating U18 rings. Each year, the Burnaby Minor Hockey Association celebrates the minor hockey careers of our graduating U18 hockey players, who have dedicated a minimum of eight consecutive years, up to and including their full three years of U18 hockey, to our association. This year, this recognition will be given to players who were born in 2006 and who have completed this season their third year of U18 hockey and have played continuously with the Burnaby Minor Hockey Association since at least the 2016-17 season. 
These players are being presented with a beautifully custom designed silver ring to commemorate their years with the BMHA. You guys will know you're up uh, next because it's in alphabetical order. <laughs> First up, from our U18C5 team, having played nine years with the association, David Bershatsky. Next up, having played 13 years with the BMHA, from our U18 C6 team, Daniel Baikolf. From our U18 C6 team, Having played 13 years with the BMHA, Jason Choi. Nine years with the BMHA from our U18A2 team, Simrat Dinsta. From our U18C3 team, 12 years with Burnaby Minor, Latham Ganem Stewart. Minor from our U18 C2 team, Amrit Garcia. From our U18 C1 team, 10 years with Burnaby Minor, Kalen Ip. with Burnaby Minor from our U18A2 team, Peyton Jensen.
From our U18C6 team, 11 years with Burnaby Minor, Aaron Koo. with Burnaby Minor from our U18A2 team, Alex Lim. <laughs> Ten years with the Burnaby Minor Hockey Association from our U18C6 team, Ethan Lim. from our U18C2 team, Michael Machado. From our U18C5 team, nine years with Burnaby Minor, Saheej Manhas. From our U18A1 team, 11 years with BMHA, Ryan McGowan. Eight years with Burnaby Minor from our U18C2 team, Sean McMechan. Eleven years with the BMHA from our U18C6 team, Stephen Ng. with 
Jeremy Miner from our U18A1 team, Alex. Yes. Association from our U18 C6 team, Samuel Sommerfeld.
female team. This award presented to the most personal life female team in the Burnaby Minor Hockey Association for the 2023-24 season. This year's winner are U18 C1 Wildcats. of camaraderie and sportsmanship, earning recognition from the PCHA with their selection for the Team Achievement Award. The team displayed sportsmanship on and off the ice, achieving winning success without many penalty minutes. The U18 C1 Wildcats enjoyed hosting and socializing with other teams, especially with the Western Washington Red Hawks. The PCHA also recognized the courteous communication consistently received from the U18 C1 Wildcats team officials. Congratulations to our most sportsmanlike female team, the U18 C1 Wildcats. Come on up.
Schumacher. This award was donated by the Corporation of the District of Burnaby in 1967-68 in memory of Fred Hume, a deceased community activist in Burnaby. This is presented annually to the representative team, which displays outstanding sportsmanship throughout the playing season. This year's winner of our most sportsmanlike rep team, the Fred Hume Memorial Trophy, is our U15 A1 Bulldogs. Flight one in the PCHA, but advanced to the U15A Provincial Championships, finishing with the silver medal. They represented the BMHA well throughout the year and finished league play with a lowest penalty minute average of 4.25 penalty minutes per game. Certainly a testament to some fine athletes and great leadership under Coach Drago Adam and his crew. And I know this is a repeat performance for Coach Adam, as he also captured the most sportsmanlike rep team award last season, the previous season, with guiding while guiding the U15A2 team. Congratulations to our U15A1 Bulldogs. Alicia came out this season looking very confident and more polished. Her performance this season was sharp, her skating was smooth, and she had a great attitude. She raised her level by officiating more games as a head referee. Alicia was busy this season officiating in almost 80 games, all while playing high-level hockey in the female, with the female U18 A team. Congratulations, Alicia. Our Referee of the Year Award, presented to the Referee of the Year for BMHA for 2023-24. This year goes to Logan Yui. season. This year was an exceptional year as Logan had the time to officiate over 120 games on top of playing his U18C games. Logan officiated everything from U11 to U15A and didn't hesitate to take on extra assignments when games could not be fully covered. On top of a very busy schedule, he committed himself to mentoring new officials on and off the ice. Logan spent many weekends and long hours at the rink mentoring on ice as well as doing supervisions. He worked on his mentoring skills and gave feedback to many new officials. With over 30 new officials this season, Logan played a large part in getting many officials properly trained for the BMHA. Congratulations, Logan. Our next award is the Jack Gilroy Award. This is presented to the most outstanding Adam House goaltender in the Burnaby Minor Hockey Association for the 2023-24 season. 
This award was donated by Jack Gilroy in 1965-66, son of Betty Gilroy, the first registrar of the BMHA and an original founding member. Jack had always played goal, was a goalkeeper on the first Hockey Canada registered team to represent the BMHA. His purpose in donating this trophy was to encourage players to become goaltenders. This year's winner of our Jack Gilroy Award for Most Outstanding House Goaltender goes to Luke Walton from our U11 C1 Bulldogs. from the nominators about Luke. He's a first year player who excelled in the goaltender position. As a C player, he played above ex expectations and was often the sole difference in game decisions. He was named player of the game in the mid-year tournament and dog of the game, a team award in multiple games. Above all, however, he is a great teammate and leader on and off the ice. Congratulations, Luke. Our Terry McLean Memorial Award is presented to the most valuable house goaltender in the Burnaby Minor Hockey Association for the 2023-24 season. This award was established by the BMHA Executive in memory of Terry McLean, a former goaltender in the association. This year's winner from our U18 C4 Bulldogs. And you know I screwed up some of those U18 graduating uh, ring players' names, so I'm not even gonna try his last name. <laughs> it's Sayed. from his uh, nominator, any successful team is built upon a good goalie. I've known Sayed since U11 and I see how he wants to make himself better every time. This year he was, he has stepped up his game a few notches. He's always at the rink an hour and a half before the game to get locked in and focus on the upcoming game. After warm up we would always give a passionate pep talk to the whole team to rally them. He is doing professional goaltending training outside of the BMHA to make sure his skill level is as high as he can get it. The result is the team has the least goals against in the entire league for the playoffs and placements. He also had the least goals against in the top division of the regular season. A feat this big is deserving of the top house goaltender award. So congratulations, say it. female goaltender presented to our most valuable female goaltender or goaltenders in the Burnaby Minor Hockey Association for 2023-24. This year's winner this is from our U15 C1 Wildcats we've got a dual winner Alina Graf and Karina Zhao. This year, the top female goaltender recognizes two U15 athletes who stepped up to ensure BMHA had goalies for both the U15 C1 and the U18 C1 teams. The goalies work together to coordinate their schedules to cover games, including tournaments, for both teams. What's most impressive is that the goalies taking equal turns playing for both the U15 C1 and U18 C1 team contributed to the banner winning seasons of both teams. U15 C1 won two tournaments in their division playoff banner. U18 C1 won a tournament, their regular season banner, playoff banner, and PCHA team achievement banner. Alina Graf and Karina Zhao are duly recognized at BM as BMHA's top female goaltenders for the 2023-2024 season. Congratulations.
our most valuable rep goaltender. This is presented to our most valuable rep goaltender in the BMHA for the 2023-2024 season. This year's winner from our U18A1 team, Carter Toibana. Carter is the best goaltender that my son has ever played with. He is very respectful on the ice to opposing players. He just stops the puck and doesn't get into it with other players. He has a number of shutouts this past season and held us in our Kamloops tournament. Although we didn't win the tournament, Carter is the reason we got there. Carter shows up to every practice and every game. I see a bright future for Carter, both on and off the ice. Congratulations, Carter. <laughs> Our Most Valuable Female Player Award. Presented to the Most Valuable Female Player in the BMHA for the 23-24 season. This year's winner of our Most Valuable Female Player Award from our U18 C1 Wildcats, Sarah Kainth. <laughs> this player has been with the female program for many seasons. She is known as a player who leads by example demonstrating efficient hard work. She tirelessly makes those she plays with better and more productive on the ice. She is a clutch goal scorer, playmaker, and defender. She's welcoming to all new players regardless of skill level and experience. So congratulations, Sierra. Our Gary Boyle Memorial Award goes to a player exhibiting sportsmanship, character, and hockey ability in the Burnaby Minor Hockey Association for the 23-24 season. This award was established by the BMHA Executive in the 1974-75 season for donations received in memory of Gary Boyle, a former playing member of the association. This award is presented annually to a player displaying sportsmanship, character, and hockey ability. This year's winner of our Gary Boyle Memorial Award is David Louis. <laughs> Nominator, David has been with the BMHA for 12 years always contributing positively to each team that he's being a part of. A true, role a true role model exhibiting exceptional sportsmanship and unselfish play. A wonderful representative, representative of the Burnaby Minor Hockey Association. Congratulations, David. Our Female Scholarship Award. This award is presented to a female player exhibiting team play, character, sportsmanship, academics, and hockey ability in the Burnaby Minor Hockey Association for the 2023-24 season. This award also comes with a $1,000 scholarship. The award was established by the BMHA executive in 2022-23 the scholarship is to be presented annually to a female player developing those characteristics. Presented to a grade 12 student who is currently or who at some time has been a member of the BMHA. This year's winner of our Female Scholarship Award is Michaela Ma. Nominator. This year's female scholarship recipients received many nominations. The nominations noted that she is a fantastic teammate and is always positive and hardworking. 
She overcame different challenges to continue playing hockey. On the ice, she was a leader demonstrating a tenacious work effort and her, with her teammates to follow. She was a great listener and always did her best to implement whatever the coaches were asking of her. She played a pivotal role in helping her team win the regular, win the regular season and playoff banner. Congratulations, Michaela, for winning our BMHA Female Scholarship Award from our Female Wildcats U18 C1 team. Our final award is uh, the Alfred Belfry Memorial Award. This award was established by the BMHA executive in the 1980-81 season from donations received in memory of Alfred Belfry, a former playing member of the association. This scholarship award is to be pre presented annually to a player displaying team play, character, sportsmanship, and hockey ability. The award is presented to a grade 12 student who is currently or has at some time been a member of the BMHA. So this year's winner of our Alfred Belfry Memorial Award, as well with a $1,000 scholarship for team play, character, sportsmanship, and hockey ability in the BMHA for 2023-24, is Etienne Winpenny. His nominators, he's dedicated 11 years to the BMHA, combining high academics with his athletic ability. A quiet leader who leads by example with a great work ethic and commitment to his team. Etienne plans on continuing his hockey while studying to be an electrician. Congratulations, Etienne. So once again, if everybody can give a big round of applause uh, to uh, all of our coordinators and uh, team players. I will pass this back to uh, President Cheryl Reeser to close things off. Thank you. to all of our graduating players. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. Keep us in mind as Burnaby Minor. When you're looking for those resume coaching opportunities and what have you, uh, please stay in touch with us. Have a fantastic summer, everyone. And just a couple of things uh, before you all leave. We always want to thank those that assist with our Ceremonies, President Cheryl Reeser, Wendy Dorothy, Angela Sam, Keith Rentry, right there in the audience, and it's a platform for you in the island. And also the staff here at the Global Open Sports Center for being prepared for the event. We always want to also thank the government of British Columbia and the community of the Indian Red Program for all the support of our association.
What does it say? Most valuable rep goaltender. Hmm. Presented to the most valuable rep goaltender, Carter Toybannon, U18A1 Bulldogs, 2023 2024. Okay, good.